Hello, young people, and welcome to another Super Saturday session of Emmanuel Baptist Church Children's Church Online. Joining with me today is my faithful, dedicated brother in Christ, Minister Chris Slade. Let's give Minister Chris a big hello wave so he can see how excited and blessed we are to have him here today. Young people, I am beyond excited because Black History Month is in full effect. Black History Month takes the time to celebrate the wonderful things that people, Black people, in every corner of the globe have done to make the world so much better. Young people, in February, we hear more about Black people who have gone into space, Black people who have changed the music we enjoy, the books that we read, even those who have made it so that we can have the right to sit in any seat on a bus and have the right to vote. Today, we're going to talk about how the Bible has inspired many people of color, but let's not jump too far ahead because we really need to pray first, so let us pray. Heavenly Father God, help us all to love the beautiful skin that you put us in. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Young people, God has been watching over us for a long, long time. He was with our family members from years ago, and he is still with us to this very day in this very hour right now. When life for people who look like you and me was pretty rough, God was right there with us. He promises to never leave us alone, and that's why I just can't give up now. Come on and listen with me. Victory or defeat, it's up to me to decide. But how can I expect to win if I never try? I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I've stopped.
Hello, young people. Now I got a question for you. Have you ever heard of a man named Lot Carey? Now I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you have never heard of Mr. Lot Carey, but we're gonna learn a little bit about him today. Mr. Lot Carey was born into slavery in a place called Charles City County, Virginia in the year of 1780. Now, if my math serves me right, that puts us at over 350 years ago. That's a long time ago. But Mr. Carey's story is very interesting and we can learn a lot from him. Brother Carey learned to read the Bible, which was dangerous at that time because it was against the law for blacks to learn how to read back then in America. That's any book, let alone the Bible. But Brother Carey did not stop him, did not let that stop him because Jesus had his hands on him. He became a child of Jesus in 1807, and he paid for his freedom in 1813. And he also led the first Baptist missionaries over to Africa, which we know is our motherland, from the United States in 1821, eventually settling in Liberia, where he stayed to tell the people all about Jesus. He also helped black people to go to school and made sure that they were healthy and led healthy lifestyles too. Sadly, Brother Carey died in 1828, but he remains a wonderful example of trusting God in the middle of what seems to be impossible situations. Let's take a look at the video called Lot Carey and come on, let's watch it together. Come watch it with me. See, Lot Carey was born in 1780 in Cape Charles City, Virginia. When he was 20, he was leased to the Stockholm Tobacco Warehouse in Richmond. One night he went to a church and heard the gospel preached and made Jesus Lord of his life. He was transformed by the message. The wild young man was a lot more serious and focused, but he was illiterate. He wasn't able to read the word for himself. He bought a Bible and prevailed upon his co-workers to help him learn how to read. He learned how to read and he started sharing the gospel with others. He attended a Bible study in the church and was licensed as a minister. On the side, he had a side business where he was trading tobacco products. Just a little side business, 12 tons of tobacco in one year on the side. Using his industry, he bought his freedom and the freedom for his wife and his children. He became the pastor of the First African Baptist Church in Richmond. And in 1820, it had 600 members. But in 1821, in January, he gave it all up. He departed and sailed to Sierra Leone and then became one of the founders of the country of Liberia. He planted Provident Baptist Church in Monrovia that exists today. He learned to be a doctor so he could practice medicine, helping the settlers survive the new diseases they were not familiar with as they came over from the United States to Liberia. He became the governor who was killed and a few years after he got there, in a tragic explosion in the armory. Young people, Brother Lot Carey faced a lot of challenges, just like we face a lot of challenges today. But a, there are some things we can learn from his story and some things that we can take along with us as we face these challenges day to day. In this lesson, we learned that God can do a lot with people who have very little. So we should remember always that black history is world history. And always remember that the Lord will make a way somehow, even when things are, the odds are stacked against you, the Lord will always make a way. And third, let's always remember to give God praise for all he has done for us because God has done a mighty, mighty lot of things for us in our lives. So we want to always remember to give God praise and thanks for the things that he has done. And our memory verse, which we want to take with us, is Jeremiah 32, 27. And coming from the New Century Version, it says, I am the Lord 
the God of every person on earth, nothing is impossible for me. We praise God that Minister Chris took time out of his very busy schedule to be with us this evening. And we thank God even more for him allowing Minister Chris to share our Bible story, our points to remember, as well as our memory verse. And I love in the Bible story that Minister Chris taught us about the life of Lot Carey, Minister Lot Carey, whose life was changed so much by reading the Bible. And we want to give you the opportunity to learn God through the Bible so that you could have a changed life as well. If you want to join Jesus and become a friend of God, a child of God, please pray this prayer with me in your heart. Dear God, I know that I've sinned and I know that you died on the cross to save me from my sins. Please come into my life, rescue me, make me right in your sight that I might become your child and you will be my God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And young people, if you prayed that prayer and invited Jesus into your heart, welcome to the family of God. We praise God because you got a ton of brothers and sisters that can't wait for you to come to church with us, come to Bible study and just learn more about Jesus. We all need to learn more about Jesus together. Praise God for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us pray. Dear God, Help us to continue to honor our ancestors, those who have gone before us, those who have paid the price, Lord God, that we might be free and that we may have the rights that we enjoy today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Young people, I want to let you know that Black is beautiful, Black is powerful, Black is outstanding, and Black is excellent. I just want to let you know that it is an honor for me to tell you that you are young, you are gifted, and you are wonderfully Black. Pastor Nichols and First Lady Nichols, along with the entire Emanuel Baptist Church family, would like to thank you so much for sharing with us today. And we want to pray that you join us again next Saturday, same time, 6 p.m., for the next session of the Emanuel Baptist Church Children's Church Online. Go get more people to watch it with you. We want more people to hear about Jesus so that we can all be more like Jesus. Please go to our church website, emmanuelbaptistdc.org, where we have some wonderful activities that will support the lesson that Minister Chris taught you today. Oh man, I'm looking so forward to next Saturday and having another great time in the Lord with you. And always be good for God and always be good to each other. Bye for now.